What is up, everybody? This is Josh with SoutheastFitReport.com, and you're watching our weekly video series called Drive Jams, where we take a song that was released last week or the week before last, we play it for you, and we give you our honest review. So this week, I thought what better uh, way to do our video this week than using the absolutely amazing new corn song uh, that was released the other day called Rotting in Vain. So here we go. I'm going to play it for you guys. I'm going to drive around. You're going to see my reaction, then we're going to talk about it, all right? So here we go. Here's uh, Rotting in Vain by uh, Korn off their upcoming album that will be released later this year. And there you go, man. That's the new track by Corn called Rotting in Vain. Uh, I'm extremely excited about this track. Um, I've always been a huge Corn fan. Uh, this song really reminds me of their early days. Um, wasn't such a fan of the stuff that they did uh, after Corn, or not Corn, after Head had left Corn. And uh, I, just, I wasn't a big fan of it. And he brought so much to the table musically that the things that they were doing, the things that they, that they tried to do as a band, uh, they were interesting and they were unique, but they weren't corn. They weren't the band that I fell in love with in the 90s. So, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I've been on the fence, you know, with, with the new corn stuff uh, until Head Returned and then, you know, they've been mentioning this new album that's supposed to be released later this year. Uh, and I got excited about it because they, you know, different band members have said it was some of the best stuff they had ever written uh, as a band. So, you know, hey, I, I was really excited about it, ready to hear it. Uh, this song dropped the other day. And, you know, they didn't even do a, you know, just a, a, a lyric video or anything. They just dropped the full single music video and all. And, you know, I was, I was blown away. Great video for it. If you've not 
check it out. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, but more importantly, it's, it's back to the basics of corn. Um, it's got Jonathan Davis's signature vocals and that thing he does. I don't know what to call it, uh, but it's kind of like uh, David Draven of uh, Disturbed. got that signature thing that he does to this voice. And, you know, it's the same thing with Jonathan Davis. He's got that signature thing that, you know, everybody knows him of that's been in some form or fashion in every Korn album. So uh, the guitars were phenomenal on it. Uh, the only thing that would make this better, and it's not going to happen uh, just because of personal differences between him and the rest of the band, would be if they could get their original drummer back. Nothing against the guy they have drumming for him now. I think he's a phenomenal drummer, uh, and I think he brings a lot of stuff to the table. But it just is not David. You know what I mean? Um, any old school corn fans will agree with that. I believe that, that David was was David, and you know that was kind of like his head. Head brought his own thing to the table for corn, and without head there, you you could tell something was missing. And it's, I think it's the same thing with with corn. Is you know, no matter how many albums that the new guys does or how many tours he goes on or anything like that old school corn fans are going to want David and I'm, I guess I'm just an old school corn fan so uh, yeah that would be the only thing that would make this better uh, these guys are going to be hitting the road uh, this fall with uh, Breaking Benjamin and Motionless and White and Silver Snakes uh, I can't think off the top of my head exactly what the tour kickoff date is for that, but it should be around sometime the album release. So make sure you see these guys in concert. Uh, I had the privilege of covering the 20-year tour last year with uh, Suicide Silence and Islander. Uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, like I said, I've always been a huge fan of Korn always wanted to see them in concert. I never did as a teenager. Um, it wasn't until my adult years that I was able to see Korn uh, live. Uh, I saw twice last year, once at Carolina Rebellion, once on their 20-year tour, headlining tour. And like I said, it was just straight up phenomenal both times, you know, to see them play their first album uh, in its entirety and this new track. Uh, makes me think of that very first self-titled album and it also uh, made, uh, makes me think of uh, Follow the Leader a little bit and also uh, Issues <clears throat> which are my three favorite corn albums of all time so uh, make sure you pick this up make sure you check out the video for the new corn song Riding in Vain uh, you're not going to be disappointed uh, make sure you catch these guys out on tour with Breaking Benjamin and uh, hey, maybe we'll see you in Charlotte at our stop in October. But uh, until next week, guys, this is Josh with SoutheastPitReport.com. You're watching Drive Camps, and uh, we'll see you next time. Digging deep inside.